Campi Fregri, one of the world's most dangerous supervolcanoes, could erupt sooner than expected. Now, Campi Fregri is made up of 24 different volcanic craters and vents, including a large caldera here. And this event has been dated to around 40,000 years ago, with more recent and older events as well, of different scale and size. Vesuvius is off to the right. Now, Campi Fregri's volcanic cycle seems to end in large eruptions. The Italian volcanic giant has been curiously eruption-free since 1538. But new research unspooled 60,000 years of history with a, an eye on what it will do in the future. And currently, based on a 2018 paper, Italy's supervolcano is filling with magma. Now, according to the National Geographic, rumors of impending doom would be greatly exaggerated. Except, long-term magmatic evolution reveals the beginning of a new caldera cycle. I'll leave you links to the paper. And since 2011, there has been increasing inflation at the Felegrin fields. It rapidly increased and stopped from 2013 to 2015, and everyone thought all was quiet, but then rapidly began accelerating. In 2018, it hit a flexure point where 20, 200 millimeters in inflation occurred till today. So we have 600 millimeters in the last nine years, and it's rapidly accelerating. This is the expansion due to magma in that caldera. The reason I'm doing this video is a seismic swarm just occurred beneath these fields. The swarm began at 351 on April 26th, and it was made up of 34 earthquakes with magnitudes ranging from 0 to 3.1. And there are quite a few here. So this is the reason I'm bringing this to your attention, because this is a sign that there is something going to happen here. Something is happening. Now, the current status of the Flegrin fields, or Campi Flegri, is two out of five. So this needs to increase up to three and then four before an imminent eruption. But there could be a sneaker because smaller explosive activities have happened. The typical eruption style here is highly explosive caldera forming. And here's an example. And the most, the largest here, the Campinian Ignimbrite. Ignimbrite is a type of lava. So the Campinian Ignimbrite eruption around 40,000 years ago, we can see the dispersal of ash here in this graphic. And there was a lot of ash. Even for thousands of miles, there was 20 centimeters of ash. So you could see here the effects of just the ash fall from that ignimbrite. And that was this caldera forming event. So a huge event. In fact, it was VEI-7. The eruption of Italian supervolcano Campi Flegri could also produce 100-foot tsunami waves. Now, this would decimate the population. Here's an example of the Plinian eruption. Each of these squares represents a kilometer. So you get the idea there. We'll blow it up. And this is a 3D, 3D numerical simulation of the Plinian eruption there. So what we can see in just a few minutes, the width of the fire and the fury is six kilometers wide at the base, tens of kilometers high during the eruption. This would literally change the environment on Earth the next morning. There's an excellent example. And you could see here all the cities down here in Naples, Florida, I mean Naples, Italy, that would completely just be burnt. And then to add insult to injury, a 100-foot tsunami would wash around these regions. 
um, destroying the rest of the people. Here's a good simulation of what a tsunami in Italy would do to the shoreline, and it's just not a pretty sight. Islands like Stromboli or here in this simulation get crushed, and the shore gets hit by 20 to 30 meter high waves. So that's really the worry here. The other worry is that after the eruption takes place, the tsunami hits in just minutes. So there's no way to escape. So that's bad news. The super volcano here, here is the Campe Fenegli complex, the Fenegli fields, and here's Mount Vesuvius. And you can see the difference in the eruptive potential. Vesuvius, VEI 5, this baby's gone off of VEI 7 and may even be responsible partially for the extinction of Neanderthal. That's still up in the air. But it definitely changed the environment on Earth instantly and cooled the planet several degrees instantly. Here's the warning zone. The Gulf of Puzuli is the most at risk. And here's a hazard and risk assessment in a complex multi-source volcanic area, the Campinian region of Italy. And you can see how they have the Vesuvius area is more dangerous than this area. Whoa, do they have that wrong? If Italy's Campi Fulegri volcano erupts, it could be even worse than Vesuvius. And what we mean by that is we've showed you the, the ash flow. The color of the sky would change. It would decrease the average temperature across Europe and lead to a mini ice age instantly. Animals and plants would suffer from overexposure to fluorine and on and on. The Bay of Naples would be covered by meters of debris. And that's just a start. Now, the last time that this erupted was during a magnetic excursion like the one we're living now, which is why we're warning you about the potential here. There's a greater potential of a supervolcanic eruption at the Flagrant Fields than there is at Yellowstone, which is why we're doing the video. We just came off of a seismic swarm. The area has been inflating by 600 millimeters and increasing. 300 of those just in the last three years. That's a foot, a foot of magma under this whole region, swelling it up into the air. Get the facts. The links will be below. Make your own call. But if you're in that region, be safe. We love you.